Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a review for you guys. I feel like it's been forever since I've done a review um, and I'm really, really excited for this one. So I did snag up one of the new Huda Beauty Obsession palettes. This is the Neon Orange and I am so excited about this. Now she came out with three different ones. Um, there's green, pink, and orange. I wasn't really drawn to the other two, but when I saw swatches of this one, I fell in love right away. These are definitely vibrant and summer colors, and I was just so excited for it. Now I do own two of the other Obsession palettes. I own the Smoky palette and the Mauve palette. I really, really enjoy these. Um, now the packaging that these came in was kind of like a little slide box. This one comes in just a clear packaging, nothing exciting about it. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's see. Now as far as size wise goes, this one, um, the neon one is just a tad bit bigger uh, in packaging. Nothing else. Absolutely crazy. I actually do think this is a little bit more secure. This is kind of the old ones just kind of flip up and it has the magnet to it. Um, this one is a little bit more uh, secure because it has a snap on there. You can hear that. So it actually snaps shut and it's got a beautiful mirror in here, really nice size. And of course, these are your shadows right here. Oh, so stunning. I do love the, the fact that the cases for these are actually what they say they are. So this is neon orange, it's a neon orange case, the pink is a pink case, and the green is a green case. Uh, and of course, the outside lettering does stand up, which I think is a nice little touch. I don't know, I just, I really, really dig this packaging. So what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys swatches right now, and then we'll come back and I will tell you my thoughts. shades right here oh my goodness the colors in this palette are just perfect for me I love the shades that she chose um, which is obviously why I picked up this one versus the others but this just screams summertime to me now reading off of the Sephora website it says that these are a range of neon pressed pigment palettes inspired by Huda's obsessions for neon colors offering versatile looks from subtle to vivid and colorful. Okay, now this does run for $29. It is $2 more than the original palettes. Um, maybe that's because it is a little bit of fancier packaging, which is fine by me. $2 is really not a big deal, especially for a packaging that's going to be a lot more secure. Now, one thing to note about these palettes is there is no eyeshadow names. Um, so if I wanted to do a tutorial, I would have to point. I mean, that's not really a big deal. If they do have names, I like them to be obviously right under the shadow, but these do not. So I will just be pointing whenever I do tutorials. Uh, now in my eye look today, I do have eight out of the nine shades on my lid. Uh, I really wanted to play with it and get my full thoughts and I'm so happy with how it turned out. So what I did is I actually started, once I got my primer on, I started with this shade right here and just kind of put that all over my lid. Um, and then I went into this one with my crease. And then once I went in with that pink, it created the most beautiful like sunset crease color ever. Um, that I have worked with and I cannot wait to do another look with those two colors because they are just so gorgeous um, I have this one on my lower lash line. I'm sorry I meant to say I have seven out of the nine not eight out of the nine my bad Of course, I have all three shimmers So I have these two on my lid and I have the yellow at my inner corner. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into my thoughts 
Now, when you put your finger in the pan and you touch the eyeshadows, they feel all, all the mattes, except for this one right here, all the mattes feel so soft like incredibly soft and I absolutely love that. This one is a little bit more on the drier side but it does not affect the performance at all. It still blends absolutely beautifully. Then the mattes in this palette are so gorgeous and the ease that it took to blend these shadows. Oh my gosh, let me just tell you. You know, I still don't consider myself like the best at eyeshadow. So I love when I get a palette and I don't have to put like five or six minutes blending one shadow. Um, that is huge for me. So I'm really excited about that. Now being a pressed pigment palette, uh, this pink one did stain my arm. I had swatched it the day I got it and it stained my arm for like two days. Normally I don't have that much of a problem with staining. I know I have the James Charles palette. Um, I used it, wore it for a day. It took me like, uh, you know, some makeup wipes and then face wash to actually get the staining to go away. Um, that did not happen when, with this one. This one stained my eyes a lot longer. <laughs> so just be cautious of that when you go to get this palette. It is going to stain your lids. More than likely it is going to stain your lids. Let's get into these three like shimmer shades. Now these two, the pink and the orange, they're really, really pretty. I love the way that they look on my eyes. However, it did take a lot of work to get them to show up the way I needed them to for this look. You cannot go in with the dry brush with the pink and the orange shimmers. You just can't do it. It's not going to work. You either have to go in with your finger, which is what I found out works best. Uh, now this yellow shade, this yellow shade is the best shimmer out of all three of them. As you can see on the swatches right here, this is one swatch and it shows up so much better than these two up here. Um, now I had these two been like this one, I think this palette would actually be perfection. It really would because I absolutely love the mattes. I love this yellow. The only thing that's holding me back from saying this is a perfect palette is the way that these two perform. Yes, they're buildable. Yes, they're pretty, but it is a lot of work to build them up. So you really have to have the time to sit there uh, to do so because I mean, you can see right here. They just did not swatch as good as the yellow one. All in all, I'm still extremely happy with this palette. Do I think you need this palette? If you love these colors, I say go for it. It's $29. The colors are beautiful. They blend beautifully. Now, I do believe what the website says. Uh, it says you can get a little bit, you can get versatile looks out of here, which I do believe. The mattes are buildable. You can do a little bit more of a softer look, or you can definitely go bright and bold which is what I did in my eye look today so if you guys want a tutorial on this look I would love to give it to you just let me know down below and I will work on that um but yeah I love this palette I love this palette I would actually have to say I love this palette just as much as I love these these are the originals they're these are so gorgeous they perform the same exact way. If you've never tried Huda Beauty before and you definitely don't want to go and spend, you know, $65 on a palette or however much her palettes are, I would definitely say try one of these to test out her formula, see if it's something that you love um, because the quality on these are so gorgeous. She's got like a whole collection of these. I've really been wanting to try out the blue and the green one. Those two have actually caught my eye. They're unique. They're nothing like I have in my collection. So I'm really interested in trying those out. But for now, I'm in love with the ones that I have. So that is it for this review. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please give me a big ol' thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Bye.